Now watch his drive. See my website, wegoted.com. I got a drive on there and followed by a bunch of nasty comments. <laughs> I mean, who else can put a, a, a drive on a website to draw people to hatred? I, I'm the only guy that can do that. By the way, watch his drive. Remember when Bush said that? <laughs> it went 275 yards. I watched The Godfather this weekend. It's the 45th anniversary of it. And did you know that the line, leave the gun, take the cannoli, that was ad lib? That was an ad lib. And then James Kahn, uh, who played Sonny, also, bada bada bing, ba bing, ba bing, ba bing, that was also an ad lib. It was kind of, and you know that Al Pacino only got $35,000 for doing The Godfather? <laughs> talk, talk about minimum wage for Hollywood. Anyway, there's a, let me ask you this, folks. If you found out that the FBI was investigating you, how would you feel? Would you feel like, oh, shit? Would you feel like, ah, nothing to worry about. They're just a bunch of yahoos over there anyway. They don't know what the heck they're doing. They never get their man, you know, the FBI. I mean, how would you feel if you found out that the FBI was investigating you? Uh, there'd be a brown spot or in my pants, I can tell you that. Yeah, I think any American would feel that way. But if Adam Schiff were told that the FBI was investigating him, he wouldn't worry about it at all because, you see, he thinks he's better than the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I am so sick and tired of, well, we've got to have a special investigator for this, a special investigator for that. We've got to have a new chair over here and a new chair over there. How about just let the FBI do the job that they're paid to do. Let's see what happens. And if you're not happy then, then you can get all the new investigations you want. I mean, for, for, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think that there is anybody on Capitol Hill that can outdo the FBI. That's my point. I don't think that I don't think there's a congressman or a senator that is going to be able to have the expertise to go out and outdo the agents when it comes to an investigation of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Now, if you think the government's totally crooked, then I guess we would have a different opinion on that. I, I'm just, I, I have a jaded opinion about it all. Winners and losers in healthcare, very simple. Trump found out what the Freedom Caucus is all about. And it only took him 64 days to figure it out. And if you think that this is the last stop for the Freedom Caucus to make trouble for any legislative agenda for the president or for the Congress, I think you'd be mistaken. I think they're going to get into a big spat over taxes. I think they're going to get into a huge spat over infrastructure. They don't want to spend any money. When was the last time anybody in the Freedom Caucus stepped up and said, you know, I'm concerned about bridges falling down in America? I really think it's about time we build an airport in this country and upgrade it because we haven't done that kind of crap in 20 some odd years. I mean, I, I, I just, I, I don't, I, I see more trouble ahead. And I think that the Republicans clearly have an identity crisis. I think that the media, the mainstream media is not telling the truth about what the Freedom Caucus is all about. I'll say it. They're nothing but a bunch of damn Southern rednecks. They want Obama's name off Obamacare because they hate Obama and they don't want anything to do with Obama. At the very end, they were changing the goalposts last week, trying to get rid of the pre-existing conditions. When the president and most of the Republicans had been saying all along, that is something that's really good in Obamacare, the pre-existing conditions, and you can't lose your insurance if you get sick. That's kind of, but that was too humane for the, uh, for, the, for the Freedom Caucus. They want to get rid of that. I mean, they want to treat Americans like dogs is what they want to do. Get a license, pay for it, and you're not going to get anything back. That's basically where it's at. And so I don't think that there's going to be any coming together or breaking bread. So the only move the president's got right now, Trump has got to turn to the Democrats. And the Democrats all of a sudden play a pretty good hand because they played it right. They kept their caucus together. And now they're in a position to make Obamacare the law of the land, make it even better from what it is right now. Here's another fallacy in all of this that no one explained. When was the last time the free market brought prices down? Question mark. 
I can't remember. When was the last time you saw insurance companies step out and say, gosh, we're just screwing the American people. We got to pass a law to fix this. They're over there popping champagne behind closed doors and high-fiving one another saying, Phew. We can continue to raise rates because they're not going to do anything in Congress. That's where it is. And so Trump has got to make a move to the Democrats. And I hope the Democrats, as much as they hate Trump, will at least see this as an opportunity to get enough votes in the House and maybe enough votes in the Senate to make the health care law in this country better so we can do, as the president said on the campaign trail, bring rates down, cover more people, don't exclude anybody. I mean, it did, this bill that they deep six the other day didn't come anywhere near those three provisions that Trump had been talking about all along, which all of us, I think, as Americans want. You know, if we're going to be concerned with who gets the credit, nobody's going to get better in this deal. And so I hope the Democratic leadership and I hope the president and I hope enough Republicans with Paul Ryan and the Tuesday bunch or whatever the hell they call them come together and do something good for the country and forget the Freedom Caucus. They're going to screw you on taxes. They're going to screw you on, on infrastructure. They're not. They're going to deregulate. They'll, they'll do that. They won't have any problem doing that. And they'll, of course, go for conservative judges on the court. But as far as an agenda is concerned to make people's lives better, they got nothing for you. All right. That's what I think. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. You mean to tell, uh, well, who's that one guy, Ted Poe from Congre from the uh, Freedom uh, Caucus yeah. out of Texas? He, he left the Freedom Caucus saying that they, these guys would vote against the Ten Commandments. <laughs> I believe they would. I really believe they would. Did you know that Blue Apron is just a fabulous way to eat dinner? Let me tell you something. Blue Apron is the number one, not number two, they're number one. The number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in this country. That says it all. Nobody does it better than them. Their mission is to make incredible home cooking accessible to you and me and everybody else. Blue Apron achieves this by supporting a more sustainable food system, setting the highest standards for ingredients, and building a community of home chefs. And the neat thing about it is that Blue Apron ships the exact amount of ingredients required for the recipe, so there's not any food waste going on. They're reducing food waste, which is good. And cooking together builds strong families. It's something America's gotten away from. Research shows that Blue Apron families cook nearly three times more often. That means the kids love it, you love it, they know what dinner time is all about, and then maybe you can get your kid off his iPhone and you can actually have a conversation at dinner thanks to Blue Apron. Uh, they got some great upcoming meals. Sweet and sour salmon with bok chow. Uh, also carrot and ginger fried rice, Parmesan crusted chicken, and creamy fettuccine and roasted broccoli. That sounds good. I'm hungry already. So here's what I want you to do. Blue Apron, number one, is affordable. They can uh, feed you for less than $10 per meal. They deliver seasonal recipes along with pre-portioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free. You'll do it. Uh, and with free shipping. And you go to blueapron.com slash Schultz. And you'll love uh, how it feels, how it tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron. Do it today. Blueapron.com slash Schultz is just a better way to cook. You're easy today. <laughs> By the way, I'm, I'm hitting the golf ball pretty well. I want everybody out there to know I'm hitting the golf ball I, pretty I, well. I love, the, uh, I love the comments on there where they're not nailing you for being some sort of sure. guy who hits the golf course on the weekend. There's about like 10% of them. I love, I, love, I love the comment. I put, I put, a, I put a, 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 a golf swing on the website and on the Facebook. Well, there he is. He's sold out. Sold out? What do you want? Let me ask you a question. Do you work for free? Do you work for free? Do you want me to work for free? And it's amazing how many people think that, well, you're really wealthy because you have time to play golf. <laughs> I'm 63 years old and have worked for 40 freaking years. Is it okay if I go play some golf? <laughs> God dang it. Come on. No, I love the guys. Jeez. There, there's guys out there. People are freaking <laughs> stupid. And so I'm, I'm, I, I am, I'm, I'm communicating with people <laughs> on, the, on the Facebook. I've never done that before. And I'm having conversations and I'm talking to people and asking them, what story have I covered that is Russian? 
What, 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 tell me how I'm selling out. You want me to quit at 63? That ain't gonna happen. I got too much tire left. <laughs> Just because I'm not on MSNBC anymore, I have to go quit and stop. Okay, Eddie, you can stop now. <laughs> Forget it. Anyway, um, and fishing season's coming up pretty soon, too. <laughs> Big Eddie's North Country Lodge. Check it out. We got Ed.com. We don't have reduced rates, by the way. <laughs> I sold out there, too. Back tomorrow.